This video is about pH scale. You may have learned this before as a way of measuring whether something is an acid or a base. In reality, it is a measurement scale for the relative number of hydronium and hydroxide ions that we find in solution. The pH scale is based on water and its polar structure. Remember that we talked about how water can sometimes dissociate because of its polar structure. When it does, it forms two ions. One of those ions is referred to as a hydroxide ion. It's this structure here, and it has a negative charge because it has taken away one of the electrons from one of the hydrogens. The other ion is the hydronium ion, which is this ion here. This is referred to as the H+, and it's really a proton all by itself because it's left its electron behind. These two ions are the basis of pH. OH negative, or our hydroxide ion, is associated with alkaline or basic materials. H+, which is our hydronium ion, is associated with acids. In order to communicate which of these ions is in a higher concentration in solution, we use the pH scale. It is a scale that runs from 0 to 14, with 7 in the middle being our neutral pH. This is the point at which the H plus ions and the OH negative ions are equal to one another. Water has a pH of 7. This is because when water dissociates, we have equal numbers of both ions. pH of 7 is not acidic or basic, it is neutral. Other molecules dissociate too, like the hydrochloric acid that we see here. When it dissociates, it doesn't add a hydroxide and a hydronium ion. Instead, it only adds a hydronium ion, an H+. And when it does, the balance is no longer equal. When we add one more H+, our pH is going to move a little bit towards the left, where it becomes a pH of 6. That becomes slightly acidic. The more H pluses that are added to solution, the more acidic the solution becomes. If we look at a pH of 5, we can see that there are only a few H plus ions available. There are 10 times more ions at a pH of 4, and 10 times more ions than that at a pH of 3, until we get a pH of 0 where it is saturated or full of H plus ions and is strongly acidic. When you add a base, you are not adding an H plus. Instead, you are adding an OH minus. If an OH minus is added to a neutral solution, the balance between H plus and OH minus is tipped again, but this time it's going to be tipped in the opposite direction. So one OH minus is going to move the pH a little bit to the right. This solution is slightly alkaline or slightly basic. If we start at pH of 7, there are 10 times as many hydroxide ions at a pH of 8. There are 10 times more ions than that at a pH of 9, and so on until we get to a pH of 14, where again it is saturated with hydroxide ions and is a very strong base. So in general, our acids are found in the lower side of the scale, and our bases are found on the upper side of the scale. Molecules in living things have specific shapes to do specific jobs, and ions tend to mess around with the shape and prevent those molecules from doing their work. Because of that, living things generally do best in a pH of 7, where the ions are equal to one another. We can test the pH of a solution by using an indicator, which is a chemical that will change in the presence of these different ions. We can then compare the color change to a chart, which will tell us the pH of the solution. So what happens when a living thing becomes too acidic or too basic, and it throws off the homeostasis? Because living things need to maintain a balanced pH, there are some special molecules called buffers that help to protect it from pH change. If there are extra H pluses, these molecules can pick those H pluses up, returning the pH back to neutral. There are also buffers that pick up OH negative. In this way, living things can keep a constant pH.